Hey friends, welcome back to another video. My name is Emma Fave, and today I'm starting a new sketchbook series. I have been struggling a lot to find what to paint and I have this Etcher Lab cold press watercolor sketchbook that I want to fill up with things that make me happy. I want a sketchbook that relieves the pressure of creating things that are perfect and just more about creating things that are fun and they may turn out and they may not turn out. So today I wanted to create some really loose, fun strawberries, kind of like a pattern um, to get myself back into painting since I've been back from, from vacation and I thought this would be the perfect day to do it. So let's jump in and get started. Okay friends, so I am starting a new sketchbook series where I fill up this Etcher Lab sketchbook. It's an A5 portrait orientation sketchbook that I've held on to for a while. I love Etcher sketchbooks. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, I use them for the longest time and I've kind of just saved this one because I didn't know what to do with it, but I've decided I am dedicating it to a sketchbook series where I just fill it up with things that make me happy and I release all pressure of creating something perfect on each page. The other thing I'm gonna do is also paint on the first page, which I never do. I always leave the first page blank just because I'm always afraid I'm gonna mess it up. But you know what? The purpose of this is just to make me happy and enjoy it, and that's what I'm gonna do. So I get the cold pressed watercolor sketchbooks from them. And I think I'm also gonna do a video where I paint the cover of this. I have done one in the past, but because this is gonna be kind of like a happy sketchbook, meditative journal, um, I wanna paint something fun on the, on the front. So if you guys have any ideas, um, let me know in the comments and I will definitely make that a video. So, like I said, this is a portrait orientation one. Um, usually I get the landscape one where they're longer, but this will be fun. So I think I'm going to paint, do I leave this page? See the, <laughs> the usual me inside just wants to kind of leave the first page. No, we're gonna do this whole page. I'm actually gonna paint this whole thing, I think. I wanted to do strawberries. Yeah, you know what, we're gonna do some strawberries. We're gonna do like a strawberry pattern because it's easy, simple, not intimidating, and I think it will be fun to do, so. Um, but yeah, so this inside is watercolor paper as well, which is a lot of fun. And then I'm going to be using my ultimate palette. If you guys saw that video, um, I'm going to be using this palette because I've been having a lot of fun with it. And I think, and my, one of my new brushes for my new, uh, brush set, my size 10 round, and then maybe, I don't know, some other ones. We're just gonna, we're going to go with it. Okay. So I'm going to try and stop rambling. <laughs> try keyword. I'm going to try and open this to lay it flat a bit better, there we go. And I'm gonna just paint some strawberries because they're simple, no pressure, and they're easy. And we're gonna make them loose and fun, so just enjoy it. Okay, so pick a red, it doesn't even have to be red, it could be a pink if you like it, but I love this permanent red from Shinhan. And I'm just adding a little bit of water to it so it's a little bit watered down. And I'm just gonna start painting these strawberry shapes. So kind of pointed at the bottom, rounded at the top, I might leave a little bit of space at the top for the green after. And then I'm gonna take some more color and I'm just gonna tap it in, okay? I don't want the whole thing to be dark. And you know what I might do, just for fun? I'm gonna wash off my brush a bit and I'm gonna do another one that's touching it slightly so it kinda runs into it. And we have a lighter colored one like that. And you can always, you know, add a little bit more color if you want. And if you want to do kind of like a, a bit of a bleed with the green, I'm trying to figure out what green I want. You can always do that too. That might be a bit too much, but we're trying to make this a bit more abstract and fun. Yeah. The green's kind of taking over that one. But that's okay. Maybe a bit too much. <laughs> I'm gonna try and wash a little bit of that away. I'm just washing off my brush, drying it on my paper towel, and then pushing 
the color back and then I'm gonna grab a little bit more red. Okay, maybe I'll wait for some of it to dry before I do the green, I don't know. Because it's kind of, the green I used is taken over just a little bit more than I'd want. Okay, so I'm gonna grab some more red and just almost like a heart shape. I'm gonna leave a little bit of space. that. Maybe I'll grab a darker red too, just for fun. Tap it in there. And when you're painting stuff like this, I just find there's a lot less pressure to make it perfect because we're, one, we're not making it realistic looking. And two, you're just kind of doing simple shapes. If you don't know what to do, do something that has simple shapes. You could do oranges. Honestly, you could do anything. I want to do another one here, touching that one. I like the the bleed you get. And I have to see what the leaves look like as well. But I like to try and leave one side a little bit lighter to show a bit of a highlight. But just have fun with the wet on wet technique. Okay. And I'm trying to decide, do I want a background? I might come up with some sort of background as well. I don't know yet, just playing around. Mm, I don't like the crease in there, so I'm just gonna fill that in a bit more. that grab some of that darker red and I just love the way it looks it looks so cute and it's colorful and fun and it's honestly super relaxing to do so continue just putting these strawberry shapes around the page you can double them up with two at a time or one um, my biggest piece of advice would just be to leave some lighter values in there. Don't make them all one solid color. I find they just look a little bit better if you have uh, a lighter value as well as a darker value in there, just so it's not so bright and solid. Um, but yeah, just play around with the pattern and then you're gonna let it all completely dry. Here I did a couple other green stems, decided no, I need to wait for it to dry, <laughs> as you will see. Um, but yeah, just continue until it's done and dry. Okay, so now that most of the strawberries are done, um, because it was bleeding too much in there, I didn't want to do more of the wet on wet. I did a little bit here, but I wanted to wait for it to dry. So we're going to wait for them to fully dry, and then we will do the tops to the strawberries. Okay, so now I'm going to grab like a medium green. So I have like my olive green here I think I'm going to use, and I'm going to have a, a darker green on hand because um, I want to do a little bit of a color bleed with a darker green as well. So I'm just going to... Do these kind of like jagged leaves and like a stem like that then i'm going to grab my darker green so like my perlene green and i'm going to tap some darker green in there a bit too just for a change in color just a little bit like that. And then these ones over here, I'm just gonna go over top. And I'm trying to make it really loose. Like I don't want them to be perfect tops to my strawberries at all. Just making them really sketchy like
doing a couple at a time before I add the darker green. Like that. Just kind of tap it in there. Like that. I love it. So cute. And then you're just going to continue to do that for all of them. Okay, and then when that's done, um, you're going to do the little tiny dots on the strawberry. So I'm going to get a smaller like liner brush and I'm going to grab some black and I'm just going to do this tiny little dots on them like that. And there we go, there's our strawberries. So part of me kind of wants to do like a pink background or something. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. But I think, or do I want to do like a turquoise background? Or pink? I kind of like the idea of pink, I don't know. <laughs> I think that's what I'm gonna do. Because if you want to add a background, you can, you don't have to, but I just want to kind of go for it. I'm gonna make it more on the opaque side though. So I'm going to add a bunch of white Maybe like a peachy pink, like that. Do I wanna do this? Yeah, I do. <laughs> it's all about just going for it and not being afraid today. That is my lesson. Just go for it. Now you can definitely do a background that kind of stands out a bit more, like turquoise or something. but I want something very kind of light and pastel-y like this. Some people may like it, some people may not. <laughs> that is okay. So I just mixed it with, there was like a bit of pink in my palette already. And then I think there was a little bit of yellow in that mix too. I don't know, I like it. So I'm gonna speed this part up again, just because you don't need to watch me go through everything so slowly. And yeah. And there we go, there is our strawberry piece. And you know what? Like, it is not the most technical painting. It's nothing completely special or intricate, but it just, it's bright and full and it makes me happy. And that was the point of today. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And if you have any other ideas you'd like to see um, to fill up this fun sketchbook, let me know in the comments below and I will see you in our next video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on all my other platforms for tons more content. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.